What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh here, and I'm joined with local pro Seth Overbay. Hey, guys, what's going on? Well, we got some more BDGC tournament coverage for you. Please subscribe for more disc golf videos if you haven't done so already. We're at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships in Morristown, Tennessee. For round one, we're starting at Rotary Disc Golf Course, the Blue Pins. Yeah, I'm excited to watch this film. Personally, playing the course, uh, I'm glad or I'm excited to see how these guys shot. So, starting on hole three here, uh, HB Clark, the tournament director, had the uh, FPO ladies start on one and two. So, for all rounds of this tournament, the MPO will be starting on hole three, uh, 370 foot par four. As you can see, we got Prodigy sponsor Chris Dickerson on the tee. Simply throwing a flick, D1. Mm -hmm. Looks like it came out clean. He's going to have a putt. A little bit shorter than he wanted, but uh, definitely got down there for a putt. Here's my fellow lefty, Zach Milton, <laughs> next up on the tee. This is a great hole for Zach to start on and get warmed up. Just small little lefty hyzer, just get down there by the basket. Uh, this one's labeled as a par four. I know a lot of you are going to probably disagree with that one, and most of us locals do as well, but it's on the uh, scorecard as a par four, so that's what we got it on here. And just as, sh as he should have, he uh, put his disc inside the circle. He's going to have a putt for two. Absolutely. Next up, we've got Dutch Napier, also Prodigy sponsored. Dutch comes down almost every year for Tennessee State. Love seeing Dutch down here uh, out of Kentucky. He also had a good flick. He's going to be putting. Nice little roll there inside mm -hmm. the circle. Next up, MVP sponsored Matt Dollar. Let's see what he can do here. Looks like he's going to the turnover shot. Looking good. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a putt. He's, you know, probably 50 feet out. Yeah, maybe not quite as much turn as he wanted, but he definitely got the distance. He's down there. As you can see here, we got Latitude 64 sponsor Johnny McCray. He's probably not going to be throwing any forehands today. You <laughs> see this turnover. Can absolutely mash a turnover, as you can see here. It's looking good. Great line. Catch cam didn't quite get the finish on that one, but he's down there near the basket for sure. Here's Chris with his signature step putt. He's usually making these. Let's see how this one goes. I told Chris he wasn't going to fake me out during this tournament. And about the second hole he did. So. <laughs> a little wide on that one. Mm -hmm. maybe, an easy tap. maybe first first putt of the tournament jitters there. This is a, a four-day tournament, four rounds plus a final nine. So a lot of golf ahead of us. Matt looking to put this one in for a two. And a little right as well. Should have an easy comebacker. Johnny, just a bit outside the circle. Also has a good step putt. It's a good first putt of the day. Absolutely. That's how you want to start right there. As we said, you know, labeled as a par four, so that one does count as an eagle. I know these guys aren't thinking that in their head, but. No, not at all. <laughs> you want to get, this is one hole that you need to get or want to get. Absolutely. Usually. Dutch being the very good putter as he is, taps that one in as well mm -hmm. for the eagle. No problems whatsoever. Throw lefty Zach here, putting with his judges. See if he can put this one in. Nice putt from Zach. He also got the eagle. No problem. Got Chris here for his three. Of course, he's going to make that one. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes those most of the time. Matt looking to tap this one in as well. Another birdie. As I said, maybe a soft par four, but, you know, it counts on the scorecard that way. So we're starting out with uh, Johnny, Melton, and Napier at two down and one down for the other guys. We're going to be moving on to hole four, 635 feet, par five. This one's also probably a little soft to be a par five. I mean, it is a difficult hole, but I would say that's a harder par four. 
Absolutely. Basically, you just want to get out of this gap here. Once again, catch Cam wasn't able to catch that roller, but Zach got way down there in the fairway. You'll see that on his upshot. That's a risky roller. Absolutely. Being the lefty, the forehand's hard to get down there. I would say on this one, uh, you're probably not trying to take too much off on the, on this initial drive. Just you trying just wanna, to get out. Yep, get through the initial gap. Have a look for your second shot towards the basket. Main goal. Mm -hmm. That's a great shot from Dutch there. He's just out in the open, exactly what you want. Something you won't see very often. Johnny McRae throws a forehand <laughs> yeah. off the tee. Hits an early tree. Got Dickerson lining up the forehand as well through the main gap, it looks like. There are a few different gaps there you can hit. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, but there is a left gap to the left of that uh, angled tree there, or leaning tree, rather. Dickerson hits and falls down a little bit early, but he still did get out, so yeah. he should be A nice wide open shot to mm -hmm. the basket. Mm -hmm. See what Matt can do here. Looks like he's lining up a flick as well. A little different from all the other guys. He also catches one of the early trees. Mm -hmm. Johnny just happy to just toss it out and get out in the open. Like we said, getting out there is the most important thing. Dollar here trying to throw a turnover. Maybe a roll. Very high shot. Catches a little limb there. It's coming down there. Not terrible from where he was, though. Mm -mm. Dickerson here. Looks like he might be attacking. Yeah. So the pin is, uh, what would you say, about 300 feet down uh, on the left? A little bit longer than that, I would say. I'd say closer to 400 feet. Okay. It's kind of over there behind the next tee pad. You saw those people on the left. That's a great shot from Chris. Yeah. Just kind of not too aggressive. Johnny looking like he's trying to get full flight out of that and get completely down there. Good Ooh, skip up. Big skip over into the woods. Hey, a little yeah. bit short. He is a little short, and he did land in the in the woods over there, but we'll see what he can do from there. Dutch here, that looks like it's on a good line. Mm -hmm. Hitting the main gap you want to hit. Should be able to see the blue pin here pretty soon. Oh, wow, Let's, Zach did wait, get way down there yeah, with that roller. Zach had an outstanding roller. Shout out to Griffith during the catch cam. He just wasn't ready for that roller there. This is a little touchy forehand being a lefty as myself. There's uh, quite a few gaps to go through, but oh, it looks like he did that well there. Should mm -hmm. be putting for eagle. Another eagle. Zach's definitely starting hot. Dollar throwing his third shot. High skip. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. And rolls right down by the basket. So. You step up to this hole, Seth. Are you thinking... Four or three? Um, most of the time I'm thinking four, to be honest. I, I like to get my tee shot out, you know, out of the initial gap sometimes. You know, you don't always do that. But mm -hmm. usually get out of the gap, throwing forehand down there, and just try to get my four. Mm, Dutch almost puts that one in. Three's a really good score here. Oh, absolutely. You get John E. here in the woods. I saw him lining up this turbo putt. And, uh... He uh, had a lot of stuff to deal with over there on that side. He's known for his turbos. Maybe he can put mm -hmm. this one in for us. <laughs> oh, he actually absolutely did. Absolutely did. a great putt <laughs> over from the woods. After he put it, he said, all right, everybody gets a chance at that one. Is <laughs> <laughs> that here for his eagle? One note. Just a little high there. Still a great four. Oh yeah, way. absolutely. It's gonna be no happy shame with that four on this one. See what Chris can do. This will be for his four. I think he's got this one. Yeah, he's, pre he's pretty good sometimes. <laughs> Dickerson with his birdie. You got dollar here for a par, I think. That oh, birdie okay. is well. Yeah, he got quite a bit of distance on that second shot getting out there, so he was able to connect with the four Dutch as well. The four? And Zach with the easy four. Mm -hmm. Looks like these guys are joking around having a good time. Oh, yeah. 
and on uh, hole four there, as you can see, all four. So that's, I mean, absolutely no shame in a four. I'm happy any time I get a four on that hole. Yeah. It's probably only happened one time for me. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to hole number five here, 535 feet. It's an uphill shot, so it plays a bit longer than that. Another good lefty hole. Mm -hmm. Looks like a good hazard from Zach. He's just playing out into the left. That's where you want to be for your second shot. Because if you get too tucked there on the right, you're going to have no options to get to the basket. Absolutely. There are a lot of trees, and they're very sporadic. Not really much of a big open fairway once you get up there. Dutch looking like he's going with a turnover. Looks a little turned. A lot oh, no, that's of distance. Great. He absolutely crushed that. The basket's up in that. You can see up there in that wood, the wooded area up there with the dirt. He's going to have a soft little upshot for his three. Johnny taking absolutely no time at all, crushing the back end. <laughs> great shot from Johnny as well. Mm -hmm. Got Chris here looking like he's lining up that turnover back end as well. Oh, yeah. That's crushed. Absolutely. These guys make it, this hole look so much easier than it is. To get up there, I mean, that's an absolute crush. Yeah, uphill as well. Dollar going to the backhand roller. Didn't look like he quite got that one over enough. We're heading straight towards Griffith. And maybe the best footwork we've ever seen from Griffith <laughs> on the channel. <laughs> but, yeah. Even being got... as wide as a Dollar is, he's still not in a bad spot. He's got to look at the gap for the basket. Absolutely. Turning that one, didn't get it over enough. Yeah, a little high, and it's stuck. Fortunately, in Tennessee, we don't have the two-meter rule, so yeah. he's not going to get a stroke for that. Johnny here with another forehand that you don't see very often, but mm -hmm. a great one at that. Absolutely. He's going to be tapping that one in, hopefully. Zach always has such a smooth forehand. I love watching it come out of his hand when he throws a forehand. Dickerson lining up looks like a little soft, maybe PA3, yeah. probably. Great shot from Chris. He's going to be up there putting. Absolutely. Got Dutch here throwing a backhand. Nice little hyzer pitch up. Oh, he's going to be making that one. Absolutely. So Dollar's the only one that's got a, a long shot for the three. Let's see if he can put this one in. Happy, happy to just lay it up close. Yeah, three's a great score on this hole. Actually, this oh, is yeah. a pretty difficult par four for the righties, but all these guys seem to throw really good tee shots, which puts them in the position to get the birdie. Mm -hmm. Dickerson takes his three. Dutch going to do the same. We can pretty much go ahead and count all these threes yeah, right yeah. here. They're that close. These guys are great putters. Absolutely. I love the work with the rocks there, the Morristown locals did. Very, very aesthetically pleasing on that basket there, the rocks underneath and everything. Dollar tapping in his par. Still no shame in a par on that hole. No. It's, a three is uh, not an easy feat on that one. But we're moving on to hole number six, 410 feet. Uh, this one I saw a lot more plays that I didn't think I would see on this hole. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a little while. For, for Zach, he's trying to go low backhand to the left of those trees right there mm -hmm. that he just hit. If you get around those trees with the lefty backhand, you're going to you're gonna be putting for two. Oh, absolutely. He would have definitely been probably inside the circle if he'd have missed those trees right there. If it didn't go in the short pin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now Dutch, rolling, uh, lining up Ooh, a roller here. Roller, very aggressive. This is something that I had never seen on this hole until I filmed these guys, and I was very surprised. Hadn't hit those trees. It was looking pretty good mm -hmm. on a great line. Johnny as well with the roller. Mm -hmm. Big jump. Ooh. Another big jump. Might have been a good tree. He might have been rolling down into hole three's fairway. Mm -hmm. Dickerson. Lining up the roller as well. Like I said, I 
Never really seen anybody do a roller on this one, but there. It's a great play if you have it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks that's looking good. Ooh, got the same tree it looked like. Yeah, it was circling around Griffith down there. He said it looped around him twice. <laughs> Matt looks like he's opting for the flick. Matt's got a great flick. I've played with him before. A little ah. high. Yeah, a little high. That was on a great line though. Mm -hmm. Should be. Able to get up and down from there. Looks like Zach's lining up the turnover backhand here. That'd be his lucid deputy. Oh, yeah. Great shot. That'll work. Let's see what Matt can do here. Unfortunately, got knocked down early. Oh, yeah. It's going to work. Absolutely. Dutcher kind of looks like he's might be giving it a run. Nah, he's just laying that up smartly. You got actually it hit a tree behind that uh, bigger tree there and got caught up a little bit earlier than he wanted, but he still has a putt. Johnny with another turbo here. Like I said before, we all know Johnny is the. Oh, okay. He's switching. switching out, taking me out. And then once again, last second, switch it up okay. again. <laughs> Forehand putt. Great little up. Yeah, absolutely. Not too aggressive. That's what I got to think. He was just uh, wanting to sit down there. Yeah. Got Chris with another step putt. Lining it up what looks like a lot of Annie. Mm -hmm. Not to go too far behind the basket. And that's a great play right there. I noticed that. I absolutely love that. Yeah. Just give it maybe a half go, give it a chance to go in, but not go too far past it. Yeah, half the time he makes them too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with more than half. Yeah. <laughs> Zach here with a decently long putt. Oh. oh chain outlet. Dutch lining up from just outside the circle. Opening. Great putt from Dutch. He's a really good putter. Oh, absolutely. There he goes, Zach tapping in for his four. You can see on his wrist he's wearing some kind of brace or tape or something. He had, he was having some wrist issues mm -hmm. this weekend. Chris tapping his in. Johnny, you going to do the same? And then Matt Dollar's going to come up as well and tap in his three. So it looks like uh, in the lead right now we've got McCray and Napier tied at five down, which is a very good start. Yeah, yeah, great start. Moving on to uh, hole number seven, uh, 400 feet. Another par four, very soft, uh, in my opinion. Um, I think uh, with the design of this one, I think it's more how the hole plays rather than the distance. So the righty, the righty roller is a uh, righty backhand roller is a good play. You can see the uh, the gap right there. Actually, that Johnny's hitting. You want to go to a little bit of more to the right than that. Other than that, it was a great shot. I mean, he's going to be able to get up and down from there, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Dickerson also looking to, to line up the roller. Very understable disc. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going a good line. Going for the rock. Oh. oh. So that misses that rock. That's, that's definitely up there. Yeah. Got a dollar. Even more understable disc. Didn't. What? Well, yeah, made it down there. Mm -hmm. Should be okay. Uh, only problem he uh, seems to be behind the trees over there on the left side where that rock is. Uh, can be a little bit of a problem, but he should have no problems getting up and down, at least for a three. Zach here, looking like he's lining up the backhand throw. This 
is a great hole for a lefty in my opinion. You can yeah. put some hyzer on something understable, let it flip up and ride straight. Exactly like that. That gap done. that he's doing right there, hit that plenty of times. That's a great shot. Slide Absolutely. up the hill. He's putting for a two. Yep. Probably just outside. Mm -hmm. So you can see Matt went a little deeper than he wanted to. He's almost over near hole eight's tee pad. There's some gaps over there. I think mm -hmm. you can get up and down. And oh, almost wow. put it in. That was a great run from Matt. Johnny here, bottom of the hill. Put a little Anheuser on it. Yeah. Set down, there should be no problem. He'll walk away with three for sure. Dutch's uh, roller, you can see, ended up on the right side, a little bit short. But once again, from these storm pros, up and down is no problem on these hills. Like Chris throwing a little forehand touch shot. Ooh, mm. huh. Almost canned it. Yeah. Zach putting for a two. You say maybe you got 40 feet or so? Uh, probably a little closer than that, but still no easy putt. He didn't step it, so it looks uh, like he might be inside the circle. But maybe. A little chain out to the right. Yeah, sometimes the camera angle is kind of throw off the distance. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Johnny there with his three. Nothing but smiles. Good tap in from Dutch. Chris going to do the same. Yeah, Chris should be doing the same, yeah. I'm going to bet he makes it. Oh. Glad I didn't take that bet. <laughs> Dollar getting his three as well. All these guys hitting the birdie. Oh, absolutely. So uh, six down for Dutch Napier and Johnny McRae. Moving on to hole eight. This is a beast of a hole. Mm -hmm. 430 feet. And uh, in my opinion, plays a lot longer than 430. It's a very, very difficult hole. On your tee shot, you want a left to right moving shot. So you're going to see most of these righty players throwing the forehand. It's looking good from Dutch. Mm -hmm. Should have a look up to the basket. That right there is the, definitely the landing zone. Uh, they can't take off a whole lot on this one. As long as you land in that area, they should be able to get up and down. John, are you going with a roller? Roller's very aggressive on mm -hmm. this hole. Didn't look like it got over mm -hmm. on enough for him. Roll over to the left, and there's a big ditch down in there. He unfortunately ended up down in there. <clears throat> Chris also flicking. Asking for skip. some lift. <laughs> and he gets it for sure. Should be looking at it as well. I gotta say, I love that mushroom stamped. Yep. Uh, what is that, a D2 or something? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably a D2, yeah. He also has a star stamped. Yeah, I D1 saw that one as well this Mario. weekend. A Dollar. thumber roller. Don't see those very often. Dollar <laughs> can perform those very well, though. <laughs> And it worked out great. I mean, he's right in the landing zone, exactly where you want to be. Another great lefty tee shot, at least. Um, mm -hmm. So Zach's going to be throwing the backhand. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he went through it. the gap. <laughs> split it. It's always a great feeling. Dollar said that's the only way you can uh, beast a uh, thumber roller on this hole <laughs> is hitting that gap. <laughs> only way to best it. You can see Johnny down here in the ditch. Got a lot of stuff in his way. And mm. how Great he did that, there. I have no clue. <laughs> Dickerson went up the forehand. Dickerson's got a great forehand. He might not be known for it, but his forehand is very solid. Absolutely. Skip. Well, a lot of skip. Great shot. Oh, yeah. He's up. You can't really see the basket there, but That's a great he's shot. maybe 15, 20 feet from mm -hmm. the basket there. Mm -hmm. A little bit uphill putt. Mm -hmm. Dutch with a very difficult shot. Mm. Probably couldn't really see the angle, but I'd. Yeah, that one. 
I wish I got behind him, but uh, in that position, I wanted to be able to see the basket as well. Mm -hmm. But he was definitely behind all that stuff and didn't quite get it wide enough. He did break through, though. He's up on the side of the hill. This second shot, usually, if you make it around the corner, is still difficult. You're not guaranteed a three with just a good tee shot. Absolutely. Look at my dollar performed it pretty well, though. Mm -hmm. After Zach's amazing drive through the tree, <laughs> he's got a little upshot here. Looks like a putter, right? Yeah. He throws an orange deputy of that color, lucid deputy. Couldn't tell if that was it or not, but great shot nonetheless. Johnny looks like he's trying to go wide and turn it over. Mm. It's a great Sit. shot. See it? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's okay. As you can see here, Dutch, he did make it through that, but it, it did definitely slow it down quite a bit. So he's way outside the circle with a jump right here. And not a bad run from that distance. Not at all. Chris lining up this putt. This is uh, Dickerson has won this tournament two years in a row, so he's looking to try and take this one down and make it a three-time Tennessee State champion. That's a great three. Mm -hmm. I left this part in here so you could see that uh, Zach had these gnats flying around him, kind of bugging him. Lining it up, though. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason I wanted to leave it in there, just to show great focus that he had after Definitely. dealing with the gnats flying around his head. Great putt. Mm -hmm. Johnny with a little awkward footing, it looks like, both feet on a rock. Mm -hmm. Put that one in there. But he's Johnny, so yeah. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> got a dollar here. There we go. Good three as well. Mm -hmm. Just tapping his in for a four. Still no shame in a four on this one. Not at all. So it looks like uh, Dickerson, Melton, McCray, and Napier are all tied at the top on this card right now. Moving on to hole nine, 410 feet. Uh, this one, uh, it plays, uh, you want to go left to right, and it's a hard hook with OB long. So you want something to hook up right around the edge of the trees you see mm -hmm. at the, on the end down there. You want to play for the skip usually if you're trying to go for the two here. Mm -hmm. The skip might get you over there, get you a putt. Got to keep it pretty low though, those branches hang down. Mm -hmm. Chris with his forehand. A little bit of skip, unfortunately, oh. that one ended up out of bounds. Dollar lining up the roller. This was definitely a hard two to get. I've not seen this one two a whole lot of times. It is out there. It's able to get it. It's a great roller, though. Absolutely. He's going to be looking at it. Mm-hmm. This one play. This one will play good for Zach here. Yep. If he can keep it low enough, and get some skip at the end. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's putting a little bit of hyzer on it. Oh yeah. Probably a defender. A little high, but. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, got through yeah, there. Got all the way around and he'll be putting for two. Yeah, he's definitely. Dutch lining up the roller as well, maybe? Mm hmm Oh yeah. Oh. A little wide. Yeah. Dutch he's puts a lot of power on his rollers. Yep. Yep. A little bit more turnover than he would have been fine. Just caught a little tree there. Mm hmm Roller from Johnny as well. Very aggressive. That's looking great, though. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. he's As you can see right there, he's just outside the circle. Mm -hmm. Dutch with a forehand. Can't quite see the basket. 
it takes the insider out and uh, I think those trees might have helped him out a little yeah, bit there. Yeah, he could have went into the woods. It's very thick over there on that side, so fortunately that one set down. Dickerson looking to make this one to save his par. He took his meter. You can see he's lining up the jump putt. Mm -hmm. Ooh, even from that far, he's still almost making it. Yeah. Johnny, you got a pretty sizable putt as well. Oh, oh. just off the cage. Just a little more on that one, and that was in. I think this is for dollars too as well. Mm-hmm. Puts it in there. Mm -hmm. That's a great two. Yep. Picking up a stroke on most of the field, I would say. Mm -hmm. Oh. Touch up and in. It's a good save there. Is that Zach's disc over there on the ground? Uh, yeah. No, that no, no. Chris, Chris. Yeah. Zach's here putting for his two as well. He got all the way around, even yeah. going high. Thankfully, he was on the, the right side. If he was high on the left side, it definitely would have got knocked down. But mm -hmm. uh, he hit his line perfectly, and he's putting for two. Yeah. Up and in. It's a good two. Mm -hmm. Like I said, probably picking up a stroke on most of the field there with that two. Absolutely. Chris here is going to tap in his four after that OB throw. Three. Upside down turbo. <laughs> and that one's going to set Dickerson back to five down, uh, which still not bad for this start. Still on the front nine here. Moving on to hole 10, 450 feet. Matt just trying to crush that one. He's ripping a nanny out there. Got over on it a little bit too much. Should be fine though. Yeah. Zach lined up the lefty backhand, that same disc he's been throwing. Good run up. Oh wow, well, looks that good. That's a crush. And unfortunately, oh, no. hits that and gets knocked down. Wow. One small little limb. It looked like the last limb he could hit. That, that was, was very, a great line. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. Dutch with a roller. Aggressive. Absolutely. Aggressive Just roller. puts so much on it. It's going to fade out there before the yeah. OB. It was rolling towards OB, but yeah, like you said, faded out on him. Johnny's older than the rest of these guys, but he can still put it just as far out there. Absolutely. Very impressive. Uh, yeah, that's a, a great shot right there. Great air shot to get that far up there. Dickerson throwing his Mario disc again. That's oh, gave it a little good. bit of any. Very stable disc. Eyes are out. And he got saved by the tree. That might have been saving him from OB right there. Mm -hmm. A little hazer for Matt. Great up shot. Yeah. I asked Matt what he threw right there, and uh, it was a new stabilizer. Hmm. He said today was the first day he put it in his bag. Seems to be liking it pretty well. <laughs> Absolutely. Good up shot from Johnny as well. Dutch, oh, put mm -hmm. a little nice little run on it. Mm -hmm. Zach here after the unfortunate OB stroke. And you can see that from the limbs above, the wind is absolutely howling at this point. Oh, almost puts it in. Chris here. 
Another outside the circle putt. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going to do that kind of Anheuser putt, just kind of give it a half go. Yep, mm. he's okay with that because if he misses, then it's right there for tap in. Absolutely. Johnny with a straddle. I wonder if that's something about the the footing on the hill. Um, it might be. Straddles usually, you know, you can get both feet kind of there in the same spot. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little better footing for him. Zach lining up the straddle putt as well. Switching. There we go. Up and in. Dickerson tapping his in. Look at the movement on Zach's hair. You can tell that wind is just howling. Tap in from that. Mm -hmm. Looks like six down from all except for Dickerson, who's five down. We're going to be moving on to hole 11, the final hole on this front nine video. 485 feet. This one is a crush. You played a lot longer than 485. You're going straight up the hill. Mm -hmm. You can see the short yellow basket there. Matt with a great drive. I think the short pin is 350 maybe? Is that right? Somewhere around Probably, there? yeah. It plays pretty far as well though. Mm -hmm. So you can see they definitely have to get a lot of distance on this one to get it up there. That's a good shot from Dutch. Yep, and this wind's a good shot. Mm -hmm. Johnny. Johnny absolutely trusting that Annie. That's a very impressive shot. <laughs> That's an absolute crush. Except in the dirt. It's yeah. Easy up shot. Mm -hmm. So Dickerson's D1. Yeah. Also trusting the Anheuser. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's flipping. Oh, that's crushed. Maybe a little wide right more than he wanted. Yeah. But that is way out there. <laughs> See what Zach can do. Good little hazard into the wind. Mm -hmm. Stable this. That's still a good shot. Oh yeah. You have a wide open forehand from there should. Dickerson with a soft little flick just to get up near the pin. Almost throws it in, actually. Yeah. Matt taking absolutely no time to throw. <laughs> yeah, uh, Matt and Johnny are both pretty quick players. So some of their uh, shots I didn't get the greatest. Dutch, unfortunately, got knocked back a little bit by that big tree. Is that here flick? He's going to be flicking his heart, maybe? Didn't seem to fly like an hour. No. <laughs> Good turnover from Johnny. Absolutely. Just right under the basket. You can just, when Johnny throws, you can, you can just see the years that he's put into it and just how much he trusts his discs and how much he knows his own form. Yep. Good putt from Dutch there. Mm -hmm. Finish up this nine. Chris up and in with a birdie. Even after that drive, he gets up and down. Definitely not a gimme three. Not at all. All these guys are just going to be tapping in here. Mm -hmm. And they get, these guys are doing wonders for my color scheme here, as you can <laughs> see all this blue. <laughs> That's going to be it for the front nine. We've got Dickerson at six down, Johnny McRae, Zach Melton, and Dutch Napier at seven down, and Matt Dollar with uh, Dickerson at six down as well. Uh, please stay tuned for the back nine coverage of this round one. As I said earlier, we've got four rounds and a final nine that we filmed this weekend at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships. Got you a couple clips to watch here in the outro. Uh, just want to ask that you please check us out on our Facebook page and our Instagram at Basinger's Disc Golf Channel TN. And please consider supporting our efforts on Patreon at patreon.com slash bdgc. Uh, once again, thanks, Seth, for joining me for the commentary. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. Great and time. Yeah, and uh, thanks to Griffith for doing the catch cam for me. 
and thanks for the pros for allowing us to film them. Thanks everybody. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area.